Okay, the last kind of quadratic word problem is the frame question. Now, a frame question doesn't have to be a frame, but a frame question is always with two rectangles. One small and one big. That looks like a frame. So here it says a rectangular garden measures 15 meters by 24 meters. And a larger garden is to be built or made by increasing each side length by the same amount. So you, originally you have the small rectangular garden that's 24 by 15. And the frame question is always about extending both sides well, or decreasing, but in this case, you're making a bigger one. So you're increasing. So when you're increasing, meaning you're increasing on the left and the right by the same amount, and you're also increasing up and down by the same amount. It says the resulting area, the new area, is to be 1.5 times the original area. And I said, anytime you get a frame question, you always want to set up the question by looking at the old area, which is equal to the old length multiplied by the old width. So in this case, the old, the original is 24 times by 15, which if you have a calculator, you put it in, you get 360 meter square. So that's the old area with the old length and then the old width. Now, what you want to set up is you want to set up the new area, which you would need a new length multiplied by the new width. So what's the relationship between the new area and the old area? So you have to read the question and look for them. Here it says the resulting area, which is the new area, is 1.5 times the original area. So the new area, it's one and a half times compared to the original area. So the new area therefore is 1.5 times 360. That would be the new area or 540 meters squares, right? 360 times 1.5, get 540. So that's the new area. Uh, what about the new length and the new width? Well, you take a look at the diagram up here. This is the new length. It's equal to 24, which is the old length, which is this part here. And I have to add this little bit and I have to add that little bit. This bit is equal to X. This bit is also equal to X. So the whole thing would be 24 plus 2x. That's the new length. 24 plus the x plus another x. So 24 plus 2x. What about the new width? Well, this is the new width. This to there is 15. And again, I need this little bit and that little bit being added onto the old width. So the new width is going to be 15 plus 2 x. So here you got your quadratic equation set up. The new area 540 equal to the new length 24 plus 2x times by the new width 15 plus 2x. And then you're going to solve for the value of x. First foil, expand this, get 360, get 48x. 30x and 4x squared. You bring everything to one side. Again, I like to keep this positive. So I'm going to leave it on the left. This is going to be 70ax. Bring this over here. You're going to get negative 180. I believe everything is divisible by 4. 
78 divided by four is no, actually not divisible by four. It's divisible by two then. Divide everything by two. This is two. This is 39 and that's 90. Uh, 45, nope. Is this factorable? Um, well, I'm not sure this is factorable, so I'm gonna use the quadratic formula. So X is equal to minus B plus minus B square minus four times A times C all divided by two times A. Negative 39 plus minus Need a calculator to do what's inside the bracket here. Get 39 square minus four times two times minus 90. So I get 2,241. And it's not a perfect square. So there are two X values. First x value is negative 39 plus what's inside a square root, which is about 47.3. The second answer is going to be minus 39 minus 47.3. Okay, so let's add them up and see what we get. So this is about 2.1. The other is going to be native 21.6. Okay. Now we have to check and see which of the two's two answers makes sense. Now, in this case, you are making the garden bigger. So X has to be a positive number because if X is a negative number, you're actually making the garden smaller. So this answer cannot be right. So the answer must be 2.1. So what does that mean? That means the new length is equal to 24 plus two times X. 24 plus two times X, which is gonna be 28.2 meters. What about the new width? The new width is going to be 15 plus 2x. So 15 plus 4.2 is going to be 19.2 meters. And if you take the new length, multiply by the new width, and you want to do that to double check, 28.2 times 19.2 is roughly 541.44. So that's about 540, right? Again, we're rounding this off. All this answer is not exact. So our area here is slightly bigger than 540. Okay. So the question asks us to calculate the dimensions of the new garden. So the dimension of the new garden is going to be 28.2 by 19.2, okay? It's called a frame question. You always have the original size, which is the length times width equal to the area. And then you always have a situation where you're remaking this garden or building a frame by increasing or decreasing each of the side lengths. So make sure you have a top and a bottom a left and a right. So it's always plus two X plus two X if you're increasing. And if you're decreasing, it will be minus two X and minus two X. So new area equals the new length times by the new width, set up the equation, expand and simplify, use the quadratic formula, which will give you the value of X. Okay.